Hi, I'm Brian Wong. I'm one of the co-directors of WF Glazing Protection Limited. And we're here today with my business partner, Dave, to um, give you a bit of background and explain how WF Glazing Protection started. Dave, can you remember? I'm Dave Falkenbridge, the other co-director of WF Glazing Protection. Um, back in 2006, if you remember, Brian, we were both working at 3M. Um, I was the UK uh, business development exec for window films. What were you doing, Brian? I was the European technical manager on window films, fire protection, and I just moved over from commercial graphics. We had a little light bulb moment because we saw the opportunity uh, in the domestic market and the retail environment uh, where people wanted the benefits of heat reflection and UV protection uh, without changing the appearance of the window. Um, so crucially for the fronts of houses, for shop fronts. Uh, we started off quite well in the March uh, with re in the retail environment because it was a nice spring, there was lots of sunshine, there were lots of shop keep independent shopkeepers uh, feeling the effects of UV and fading and the shops overheating. Well it was all new to them wasn't it? So yeah, yeah. A lot um, of them haven't heard of window film before yeah. until we went in and knocked on their door and brought it to their attention. That's right. So the, so the plan was to take the expert knowledge and corporate advice that we had got working for the major manufacturer and take it to the smaller customer who weren't necessarily getting the correct advice from other smaller window film companies. So we were, we were providing the advice the large commercial organisations were receiving to the smaller end user client. Um, and it started really well, it was working, and then the weather changed and... It, it was, was the wettest summer on record. So trying to sell solar control film challenge. in the rain was very difficult <laughs> because they didn't have the pain point, they didn't have the problem to solve because the sun just didn't... It felt like the sun never came out all that summer of 2007. Yep. And um, Rihanna's umbrella just stayed at number one in the charts for weeks and weeks and weeks with the rain. So it was... It looked like now it was really funny, but at the time it was, it was a, a real, challenge. real challenge. We, we almost, almost gave up in the autumn. Um, but we landed a large commercial project for Vodafone in Newark on a call centre. Um, and that got us through the winter and into the next spring. Um, just when it started to kick off again, uh, we obviously then hit the credit crunch. Everyone knows what happened with the global recession. And so it was just a case of keep fighting, keep fighting, stick and to the plan. Keep pushing on, yeah. Make it to the third year because most small businesses fail within three years. We knew if we made it to the third year, we'd be okay. Well, we think we'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> but as Brian said, 12 years later, uh, we're still here. We now have. Uh, major clients like um, where they where the approved suppliers to certain universities like Loughborough University, uh, certain hospitals like Lincoln County Hospital and Derby, Derby Royal Hospital, Milton Keynes Hospital. We also did a large project for John Radcliffe Hospital uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, we've got large commercial clients like Experian. Um, We've done a lot of solar control film for them to increase the comfort in their building without changing the look of the um, corporate head office. Um, and uh, we also did a major uh, installation for the Olympics uh, on the velodrome in 2012. Um, so we've really gone from strength to strength over the last 12 years, haven't we? Yes. Um, and now, um, who'd have thought 12 years ago that we would be um, have safe contractor and acclaim health and safety accreditation, the construction line gold members approved by trading standards, members of the Glass and Glazing Federation. Uh, we have investors in the Environment Green Award for our sustainability policies and environmental management systems. So as a company, we're growing. Um, there's plenty of new, exciting product technologies coming online at the moment. Such as daylight redirecting film, um, Finchulate, which is a what they call a climate control film where they reduce heat loss as well as heat gain and that's new to the market. So that's an all, all year round benefit of um, insulation and solar control so it has a large impact on energy savings in the right environment. We also have this year uh, a first in that we have a, a range of fabric window films uh, to provide privacy and a contemporary finish. 
to uh, win to front windows or internal partitions. You can be really creative with it. It's, it's, an, it's an exciting product for this year. It's, a, it's the first fabric window film in the world. So, Dave, what do you reckon the next 12 years going to be like? Uh, hopefully a bit smoother than the first few years, but we, uh, we know where we are now. We're a lot more comfortable and confident with the company. We know where we want to go. Um, and actually, what we want to be is the number one supplier of choice in the region for building occupiers and building owners with glazing-related issues such as overheating, insulation problems, glass safety problems or general privacy issues and hopefully uh, 12 years will take you through to retirement Brian. Great, <laughs> looking forward to it. <laughs> well hopefully there'll be more new products to come as well so that's a um, brief synopsis of WF Glazing Protection. We hope you've enjoyed it and enjoyed learning about it. Um, obviously we love you to be with us for the next 12 years um, and for more information Please give us a call 0345 337 4751 or drop us a line on info at wfprotection.co.uk. Thank or you for watching. Or visit our website www.wfprotection.co.uk. Thank you.